I got this new limb. It's called the Mighty Bite Grinder, electric grinder. We're gonna make some deer sausage this morning. We're gonna test this thing out, see if it can handle it. All right, I got it all out of the box. And here it's got some sausage tubes for if you wanna make blink sausage. And I guess this is the stuffer where you can stuff the meat down in through the pan there. I washed everything with hot soap water because that's always very important. These plates that come with it, so here's like a hamburger's one and this is probably sausage, I mean, chili size holes. They are heavy duty feeling. So this just goes in here and you get it in a notch. Probably just tightening this up. It secures that in place. You got this nice, that nice pan that goes up there where you put all that meat. It's real nice. We're gonna uh, get it all put together and we're gonna start grinding some meat. And this year, I'm gonna try using this pre-made sausage seasoning packets they come from Hennison's Country Store. It's been out there in the in the middle of nowhere since 1920. This store is like a real old country store, meat market, awesome barbecue. They got every type of meat grinding, redneck farm type stuff you would want. And uh, anyway, you can only get that stuff from real redneck people. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run some warm water through the casing. I don't know if you can see the water going in there. Anyway, just rinse them out. I believe I got everything set up. Got my meat, got the seasoning, got my Viking knives, my new grinder. <sighs> To add the seasonings and we'll see how this grinder works this package says it does 25 pounds i've got 20 pounds there so i'm not gonna uh i'm gonna use almost all of it okay i'll leave a little bit and it says deer meat And I gotta mix all that in. So just make sure you wash your hands real good with hot soap water. And hand mix all that seasoning in. Put some up here. Put some up here in the nice big tray. I'll try to put even amounts. So I'm 
I found out that I can use my Viking knives to cut these pieces up a little smaller so they go through the grinder a little better and uh, makes it a little easier on the new grinder. Here is our, our first attempt at making a sausage. Look at that, that looks like a real sausage. Like I said, I've never made link sausage before. I've always just made pan sausage. So here we go, we're gonna make a little more. This thing has either grind or stuff setting. I've got it on stuff. You gotta kinda help it out. I've never done it before. And this is not that hard. Every once in a while, I guess it gets a little too much and it'll break the casing. Oh shoot, it broke it again. Come on. All right, see, now we gotta turn it off. All right, so, like I said, uh, these knives really work good. We're cutting everything up. I've found it. I think I already said it. The smaller the pieces, the better for this little grinder. So, you learn as you go. Okay. Stop it, right? I forgot to put in the sausage stuffing plate when I was making links. That's why I said I'm new to this, but next time. Woo! Yeah, you gotta be careful or else it tears the casing so you have to be guiding it along of course I don't even know what I'm doing so but I guess I figured that out real quick all right so I love this new electric grinder I give it five stars and these northern knife company knives really make it easy and this is all the pan sausage and links that we got my first attempt at making links they look like sausage anyway I guess click like and subscribe if you like it okay <laughs>